what is going on guys welcome back to run my crypto i'm going to cover some cool information for you guys we're going to talk about how to be prepared for this coming bull run because this bull run is coming and it's coming so quickly that you need to be prepared on the events that are going to take place now we're also going to talk about some cryptocurrency investment strategies looking at some specific coins that could be very beneficial to your portfolio so we're going to cover that we're going to cover some risk management i got a good one for you we're going to cover everything you need to know to be prepared for this up and coming bull run guys let's get into this video without any delay let's go so when we start to define what a bull run essentially is is when bitcoin gains and pulls interest into the cryptocurrency market why is this so well, because Bitcoin is basically the godfather of all cryptocurrencies, and this is the starting attraction to help generate a huge trend and a huge demand for cryptocurrency. So once Bitcoin goes through a certain process, then investors, institutional investors start to come in and they start to invest in Bitcoin because of the value. Now, there's one thing that generally triggers this peak of interest from major, major investors, including big institutional investors, and that is the Bitcoin halving. So historically, if we look at Bitcoin halvings, these are the marks and events that trigger ultimately huge pumps or huge demand for assets in cryptocurrency now if we look at some historical data behind it it's going to show a massive trend that bitcoin has been pretty much performing at um, over the last decade so let's take a look at what these bitcoin halvings do and these trends cause so if we look at this chart right here this shows uh, bitcoin having trends uh, over the course from 2011 to our current situation right now which is 2023 so if we look at the first section of the Bitcoin halving pro uh, period, we had a Bitcoin halving rather in 2012. So what this did from 2012 is actually increase demand for Bitcoin. And it actually took the price to about $1.2,000 for Bitcoin. And this was in 2013. Now, after that huge interest in Bitcoin, we've seen the market start to go down. And that's what created a bear market because the interest is already in. Profits have been made. It's time to take those profits. So this is the outcome of what happens to be uh, when we take profits in cryptocurrency. But the money flows in as these as a Bitcoin price goes down. We do see a massive amount of money flow into all coins and mid cap and blue chip coins. Um, that's basically what we define as our altcoin season. Now, if we look at the second halving period, which took place in 2016 of July, this actually this demand point. From this Bitcoin having period drove Bitcoin's price up to about $20,000. Then we go into another sell off and it seemed like we get a, a little bit of a spike before these Bitcoin havings take place. So that's one thing I wanted you to notice on the trend. So if we look at the first trend, 1.2K top for Bitcoin, then we see a drop and then a bump up to about $500 prior to this bitcoin having then we've seen a huge pump to 20k and then a bear market drop and then prior to the next having we've seen a spike up to about 14,000. after that we get into that third having in 2020 we see the demand for bitcoin took us up to about seventy thousand dollars roughly um, for an all-time high for bitcoin then we've been in an extended bear market that's actually the point we're in right now as we've been in this huge extended bear market we've seen some significant interest spiking for bitcoin prior to this having coming in april so what can we expect well many analysts and many um people that are drilling into this uh this trend are projecting roughly about two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin before going into an extended bear market again but here's the thing that uh, i find unique and we'll shoot back to the video so what I find interesting about that concept is the fact that we could potentially see a higher amount than that, because that's generally speaking from regular institutional investors that have been in Bitcoin over the course of the last decade. Now, with a new uh, attraction of investors, meaning that Bitcoin launches these ETFs, that's going to bring in a whole new um, aspect of crypto investors, right? So we're not only going to get the big institutional investors, but we're going to get institutional investors that have never been in cryptocurrency before. That price could go anywhere to a half a million dollars or something. You know, I don't know what that looks like. We don't know. That's the that's the, the beauty of it. We don't know 
but we understand what has happened historically and we understand what happens when major money comes into crypto now what happens when major major money comes into crypto that we've never seen before now that is ultimately a gamble but if you're prepared for that that's going to put you in the position to say hey okay well let me i know that i don't have enough funds to jump into bitcoin you know on a major investment but you can't do it in altcoins because this major money flows down into other altcoins so that's where you need to really understand where to position yourself so let's talk about some altcoins that you could position yourself on a risk management level that puts you in a safe play so when i'm looking for safe coins and what to be um, safe right when i'm investing in cryptocurrency i'm going to look at the top 20 coins right so if i take a look you know obviously we have bitcoin ethereum bmb xrp etc and the list goes down so in my mind these top 20 coins are pretty safe when it comes to investing in crypto because we know that we could ultimately get anywhere from 5 10 15 x gains from these top 20 cryptos and when i go to another uh, place like uh, coin gecko i look at the safe coins and the top 20 is roughly about the same same projects that are listed on pretty much uh, coin market cap and then coin gecko now if i look at wanting to be safe obviously it's it's pretty hard to invest in bitcoin especially if you don't have you know tens of thousands of dollars to invest into uh, one specific project um, but looking at ethereum it's a good 10x play and going down the list we have bmb xrp you know solana these are all coins that could potentially gain anywhere from you know 10 to 15 to 20x um especially with them and the way the way that the projects are positioned they're they're highly known safe projects to get into now you're not going to make tons of money off of this but you will make some money but if you're looking to make massive gains obviously the safe play is not the way to go but that's why we always speak on diversifying your portfolio because you want to have a percentage of sh you know shore wins and then you know get a little bit riskier with uh, your project and start to dip down into <clears throat> you know the the 40s and 50s 30 40 50s and then uh get super risky you know you go into the next page um <clears throat> of cryptocurrencies and that's where your huge rewards come from but also your huge losses so you got to really keep all that into consideration when investing in cryptocurrency you look you look at the safe plays you look at the more more riskier and then ultimately the riskiest uh ones are these ones that are hanging super low down here but have maximum potential so identifying those are are what the what the name of the game is so being able to identify which ones could have massive success is the name of the game in cryptocurrency so let's talk about how we could look at uh you know each category of cryptocurrencies when it comes to investing and diversifying your portfolio to be prepared for this bull run so let's get into it so how are you really going to allocate uh how do you look at allocating uh, projects to your portfolio well there's very very big system <laughs> that it takes to actually really dig into it but you really want to research as much as possible you want to put yourself and dive into that project you want to look through the team you know what type of team does this do these projects have um, look at their tokenomics tokenomics are important because you want to know is it a deflationary token or is it an inflationary token where they could just add more tokens um, and essentially that's going to mess with the price so what type of uh, project you're looking at like there's narratives in cryptocurrency some narratives are going to be bigger than other um, if you look at it we look at gate uh, game gaming that looks like a very very strong narrative no matter what every every bull run uh, that has happened there that's been a you know big big narrative um, also we have AI AI is going to be pretty awesome because that's where we're moving we're moving in AI and that's going to be one of those um narratives that is may carry out a long way i thought it was going to be metaverse to be honest with you i thought metaverse was actually going to make a bigger move than than it did but i don't know it kind of fizzled out you know in the bear bear market you know Met metaverse was <clears throat> going to be the biggest thing but i think ai came out and just stomped that out so i don't know i mean it all depends this is where 
the the soul searching comes in with how you're going to try to invest and what you're going to look at but you know let's go ahead and like let, let's get an idea let's head over to coin market cap get an idea of what uh to look for all right so first off let's look at the the safe place right so the safe place you know something like ethereum you know you could go into ethereum that's probably going to give you like about a 10x so if we were to go 10x plays a safe place right <clears throat> figure out how much money you got to allocate to that um, generally depends on you know your loss right so if you have a lot of money to invest in then you know it's it's going to be more of a challenge to figure out how you're going to allocate all that money now if you're doing something that's not going to kill you it's not going to break the bank you don't care if you lose it or not you know you you've pretty much you know you came up with a figure and you said hey if i lose this it's fine you know i'm going to move on and i'm going to keep living but you know you get a figure like that and then you could start playing something like this i would recommend if you're going with something that <clears throat> That you're not necessarily going to be, you know, it's not going to break the bank, say like five grand and, you know, you want to try to do something with it. I would look at uh, putting 50% into medium plays, which I would take like three projects, um, probably spread out about $2,500 three ways. And I would go into projects like, you know, for example, H bar, I think that could do an easy 20 X, um, something like, uh, what else? Um, Mina Protocol. Let's <clears throat> find Mina Protocol. Um, they're actually pretty good. Uh, they they can do. Let's actually just go over here. Let's get get it faster. So projects like, you know, H Bar has a good one. Um, if I could spell it right, H Bar. So something like H Bar, you know, sitting at six cents. Um, it does have a decent amount of uh, market cap, but this project's huge. This, this has a lot of potential behind it. You know, this could be one of the, the 20X projects. You know, um, Mina Protocol is a good one. Um, they've done a lot of great things to to become the position that they're in. Uh, they have um, a lightweight uh, blockchain, so pretty much they could run this system off of a smartphone. That's a potential 20X project. Uh, Render is a potential 20x project. Um, they're they're based off of AI, so pretty significant when it comes to AI. And just the project, what what they're doing is, you know, creating for they're doing AI creation, 3D animation, all kinds of good stuff for for content creators for social platforms. You know, all these projects are really good. Um, Chainlink, I could <clears throat> honestly think with the value of Chainlink that they could actually do. You know, they were at an all-time high of like fifty, fifty dollars, forty, yeah, fifty dollars. I did, I did, I think they could pull a, you know, a good ten x out of that. You know, because these cryptocurrencies are really leading the way for for the market itself. You know, you have XLM. That's a potential twenty x. You know, you want to get into the 30, 40 X, you know, you go to projects like that are guaranteed, you know, ICP, Internet Computer. This thing's guaranteed to do higher than a 30 X or a 40 X. You know, you got Jasmine. That's your, you know, one of your 30 X, 40 X coins, you know, been doing pretty good over the past month. You know, obviously we're seeing a little pullback, but Jasmine has been a while since they seen numbers like that. And especially like these, you know, going into the high sixes. You have, you know, Flux is a good project. So you have all these all these projects that have potential to to essentially get you over, you know, a 20, 30 X. And when you spread out, you know, five grand and, you know, one of these projects takes off, like, for example, if you threw five, um, if you threw like, you know, 800 into Internet computer and it pulled a 50 X, I mean, come on. You know do the math there's a lot of great projects in cryptocurrency so that's how you really position yourself to do good and uh you know make uh smart choices smart investments researching projects understanding what needs to be done uh as far as you know what to look for in a cryptocurrency project is essential